<laughs> oh, God, I think I pulled something. <laughs> Everyone tells jokes. Everyone. <laughs> Professionals live by them. Amateurs die by them. My parents tell them. My therapist tells them. And my friends won't shut up. So to search for the greatest one seems insane. But like any hunt for a great white whale, it's all about the journey. And God knows we could all use a good laugh. So believe it or not, I'm excited. But leave it to the History Channel to suck all the joy out of my quest by tracking down the professor who claims he discovered the actual greatest joke ever told. Big surprise, he's British. Oh, boy. I'm Professor Richard Wiseman, and today we're going to be talking about comedy. Now, does anyone here know anything about comedy? OK. Uh, well, I'm going to be talking about the scientific search of the world's funniest joke, which is a, a project I completed a, a couple of years ago, where we found the funniest joke in the world. Uh, it was a huge uh, internet-based experiment. First of all, people could submit a joke in the... You uh, get paid for it? Uh, no one got paid. Mm. The other part of it was uh, the rate a joke, where they'd get five randomly selected jokes from a huge archive, and they would tell us how funny uh, they would find those. Nice. The pictures are really good. Uh, they took us a little bit of time to do, actually. Nicely done. Thank you. Um, we had 40,000 jokes. We have the largest collection of jokes uh, pretty much in the world now. A lot of them absolutely disgusting, so we had to take those out. We employed somebody full-time to do exactly that. Yes. Uh, what, what do you mean by disgusting? They were very offensive. Uh, to who? Or whom? Personally, I would have left them in if it was an adult site, but it wasn't, and that's just the, the way it was. Um, so this is a giant chicken, uh, which we used to reveal the world's funniest joke at the end of our project. Uh, I'll tell you the joke. It's the two hunters uh, in the woods. One of them falls over, lays motionless on the ground. The other one uh, panics, whips out his cell phone, his phone's emergency services, says, my goodness, my friend's laying there motionless. What am I going to do? The person says, look, calm down. We're here to help. First of all, we have to make certain he's dead. And then she hears a silence on the phone, then a gunshot. The hunter comes back and says, OK, now what? That was the joke. Uh, yeah. yeah, get yeah. sit down. You, you got to sit down. I can't do this anymore. That was the that world's was funniest really, joke. No, it's the world's funniest joke. It's not the world's funniest it. joke. It's not even close to the world's funniest joke. It's not even a good joke. It's a mediocre joke. First uh, off, the thing about humor is ultimately it's subjective. What you find funny, the person next to you won't find funny, and the person next to you might find half funny. And the thing is, is every one of you is, is right. It's your sense of humor. And don't let anybody ever take it away from you. And if they try to get a stick and, and just beat them behind the leg and then, you know, and kick them in the stomach. I'd listen to your lecture and, you, you know, as much as you guys try, it's science can't uh, deal with comedy. So if you don't do what we did to understand comedy, but what do you do? You go tell jokes. <laughs> Why was Helen Keller such a bad driver? Because she was a woman. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Probably the very first joke.